Hi everyone, welcome back to Nails by Sora. It's been a while since I've done a um, real-time narration. I've got a bit of a haul. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to go through the haul in this video or not. I think I'm just going to show you what I got and then do a manicure with it. Um, I'm probably not going to use Tiny in this video. I'll probably be using Madame Glam. Um, which I have off to my right, but first I want to go through what I got and this is um, I generally don't order full sets of things because there's always something in the set that I don't like So I'd rather just order piecemeal things that come out in new collections, but I saw this set pop up on um, Instagram and I immediately fell in love with it. So this is the Tiki Ju and Tiki Soda collection from Tiny. I believe it's new um, and I just f really fell in love with it. Um, the soda is uh, cat eye gels and the Jew is, I believe, um, jelly. So it comes, usually when you get a set, um, a collection, it comes with these cards. This one is from the Ink Fit set by Fiote. Um, and you get a display system. Uh, this, um, they just sent the colors packaged um, by the collection. And it does have a card inside. Um, I took a peek before, but I did not look at the card. So yeah, here it has, um, you can swatch it and attach it and then put it on display if you have a, a studio or a salon. Um, I just have myself, so I don't need to uh, swatch it for myself. I may do so anyway and place the cards um, up on my station. But I like the way that they put the magnets in here. You get two, and they kind of magnetize them to each other. I've got so many magnets at this point, but I want to play with different ways of magnetizing the cat gels. Um, cat eye gels but I'm gonna leave them attached the way they came just so that I can easily separate them again. And there's two, four, six, eight colors, I believe in each set, uh, two, four, six, eight, yes. So I'm gonna take them out. And this is my first time buying anything by Tiny. So I'll be very interested to swatch them and see the consistency of the gels and the color payoff, how many coats you have to do uh, with each one. Um, I assume the jellies will, well, I was gonna say, I assume they build on each other, but I'm not really sure. Uh, some jellies, no matter how many coats you use, um, the color is the color, and some that you can build them to greater opacity. So I'll see, I'll play around with them, but you've got basically every color in the rainbow here going from, well, there's, well, yeah, red um, to, let's put that at the end. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, pink, not indigo, um, purple, pink. And then we'll just put these off to the side for now. I had to clear off an entire shelf to be able to have room. To display them and then we've got the uh, the syrup gels also in the shades of the rainbow rainbow I may just have to do an every color at each nail manicure again so these are the colors and you can usually tell the companies will uh, format their bottles um, according to the type of gel it is. So if it's a jelly or a syrup gel, it's going to have a gradated bottle so that you can see it's semi-transparent. Anything that's full coverage is going to have either the whole bottle colored in that color, or it's going to be a, um, like this is just a white background. So that is the collection. Um, I'm looking forward to playing around with them immensely. I just don't know that I have the energy to do it in this video. Um, long days, long weeks. Um, but yeah, so that's the tiny collection. That's so pretty. Let's see. Let me get the magnet. 
See if we can get it to play around on the wand. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna pretend I'm someone else for a moment. Look at, ah, ah, it's gonna drip. Um, yeah, so that's stunning. Now I don't know what I wanna do. Do I wanna use these in this manicure? I have to see. I'm gonna, um, oh, oh, come on. Don't fight me. Okay. Um, I'm going to put these away and I'm going to decide what I want to do. Um, I'm going to take out the other colors. Zora, do not tear up my carpet. Um, I also got, I'm going to just set these aside because I did not just get these polishes. I also got one of these uh, easy pickers by Miff Millow. And it is for using those sponges, which I don't happen to have any at the moment um, at my station, but you press this out and you get that picker so that you can hold a sponge and dab uh, gels onto your nail to do an ombre. So I've been seeing this all over the place. I wanted to try it. They did have the milk sponges also, but I've got the um, the makeup sponges already. So I didn't feel like I needed to specifically buy Miff Milo milk sponges to do this. Um, I just wanted the picker. So I got that. And then I also got um, cuticle softener, which I did have from Sparkle & Co, but I never used it. So I don't know why I felt the need to buy leaf gel cuticle remover because if I didn't use it by uh, one company why would I use it by another company but when you're shopping on your phone at three o'clock in the morning you buy things you don't need so that's all of this uh, by the way came from Zillabo uh, they're bare bare they're based out of um, New Jersey and then I also got from Madame Glam I got their art pens, which I'm very excited to play with, though these will definitely not be in this video because I have to figure out what I'd want to, what design I'd want to create with them. So I don't want to just do something random. I want to actually come up with a nail design around them. So look forward to that. Um, I got them, of course, in every color. And then this I had to get. I absolutely fell in love with this collection. Um, I forgot what the name of the collection is, but I will post it down below in the description box. But um, I usually do get their collections. This looks very similar. No, I was gonna say this looks very similar to my gold foil topper, uh, Touches of Gold, but it has other things in it. You can see it's got uh, black, gray, and white flex. Um, and gold and it's supposed to mimic different kinds of stone so you've got one in green you've got one in like this pale bluish green um, and then I believe this is like an off-white and then you've got the corresponding colors to match them with very um, end of summer fall and then I had to get uh, Perfect Pink because everything is about pink right now. I was actually kind of thinking about mixing the two, maybe doing um, something with the pink and the stone. That wouldn't work. Because I think pink and gray goes really well together. And then I was thinking maybe I'd do something with the French manicure and the stone. I don't know. I have to figure out what I want to do. But I'm going to put, th that's the entire haul. Um, I will do some swatching in another video so that you can see everything. But right now I'm going to put everything away, get this manicure taken off, and figure out what I want to do um, with this collection.
whether I want to use the, I, I think I definitely do want to use the stone. I'm really excited about using these. Um, so I'm going to come up with something with Madam Glam and I will see you back soon. All right, so I'm still not quite sure what I want to do. Um, I do really like this pink, but I think I'm bright colored out for the moment. Um, I've been doing, my last manicure you saw was that really bright turquoise blue, which I loved, but I think, <gasps> wow, note to self, close bottle before you go to move it. Um, I think I want to take it back a beat. Let me clean this off real quickly and uh, um, maybe do some muted tones. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do this light blue with the um, gray and the, the gray stone. <sighs> How am I always, always, always making a mess? Anyway, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use these three colors. Um, I thought of maybe throwing in a French manicure accent, but I'm going to be doing a French manicure accent in my next video, which will actually be, um, be up on my channel before this one. So if you follow me, you will have seen it already. If you don't follow me, this is your moment. Go and click that subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you like watching me knock things over, I do it frequently. I promise you. Um, and I post all the time, so there's no shortage of content. But I think I'm going to start off. I usually put my favorite colors on my thumb. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a larger area to cover, so you get a lot more of it. Um, and you can see I have other products still on my nail. It's from a couple of manicures ago. I did an encapsulation of some seashells and I really didn't feel it was necessarily ne necessarily necessarily necessary to drip file all the way down to get rid of it because this is going to cover it up anyway. So I'm just going to get a real cleanup brush and not my detailer brush to clean up around the cuticle. I am going to use my liner brush to pull the gel down towards the cuticle for full coverage. And you can see this is semi-transparent, but I'm sure it will build to full opacity. And I'm going to flash cure this for about 20 seconds so I can move on to the next nail. Okay, so for the next nail, I'm going to be using New Quest, which is this beautiful pale blue. Well, that's not ideal. The bristle is bent. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do the blue on this hand and I'm going to do the gray on the other hand. I'm thinking about putting in, instead of doing a French, I'm thinking about doing a lunula accent. The lunula is the white part of your nail down by the cuticle. So I think that would be pretty. Ah, too much, too much. So I don't think I mentioned this one is Glimpses of Light. I'm going to go now and put it on the other two fingers. I'm just pushing it down towards the cuticle and then pulling away towards the free edge.
So this is what we have so far and I'm really, really loving it. I do want to see if I can get um, the accent nails, although considering there's fewer of those, these are the accent nails. I want to see if I can get the, um, the ones with glimpses of light on it a little bit more opaque. Um, I'm not sure if it gets more opaque, but we will see. I'll try it with my thumb. Yeah, I think so. I'm just gonna go in with the other nails. I'm not gonna worry about flashing it because I didn't push it all the way down to the cuticle on this one. Let's move this out of the way. Beautiful. All right, so for the Lunula, I'm going to do it on the blue nails, and I'm just going to take the, what is it called again? Glimpses of light, and I'm going to put it down in the moon area of the nail. Hopefully it'll show up so far. It's not looking, oh, well, there we go. Hoping it doesn't end up looking like an accident versus an accent. I might have to actually accent it with a straight line, maybe with some gold. Madame Glam did just come out with more uh, metallic gel paints, which I'm very excited for. Um, should maybe get delivered tomorrow, I'm not sure. But came out in rose gold, antique, and um, gold. So I'm very excited for it. But I don't have it yet. see if I can pick up some of the flex to drop them in there. All right, I'm going to flash that and then do my pinky. Now to accent the accent, I'm going to use my chrome that I already have, Solar Chrome. I was thinking about using gold, but the gold I have, I, I love it, but if I make even one mistake and I have to wipe it off, it just gets all over the place because it has the gold flex in it. Um, so I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm just going to use the silver and try not to have any issues. I'm just going to go around the curve of the moon. So you know how nuts I am? I start um, classes to become a nail tech in October, and I'm already trying to figure out what manicure I wanna do for the first class. 
because, you know, I have to impress everybody. Well, this one's giving me a bit more trouble. All right, so the only thing I have to do now is try to get those marks off the nail, not that brush. All right, I'm gonna cure that. I'm going to go and do a base coat and a top coat. Then I'm going to do my other hand and I will be back at the end to wrap up. All right, so this is my right hand so far. I'm popping back in because I'm not sure how I feel about this accent. Um, I'm thinking I might remove it and do a straight line. I, of course, flooded my cuticle on my pointer finger, which I will fix at the end. But I'm thinking that I may just want to do a straight line instead of the lunula accents. So I was just thinking something along the lines of this, though you can't really see it. digging that either I even flooded underneath my nail jeez um okay so I'm just gonna go back in and do the same thing that I did with my left hand and do the lunula accent I did decide to use the bluish uh, stone color for my right hand. This is Aurora. Just to use a few more colors or a couple more colors. All right, so I'm gonna cure that. Do the silver accent, base and top, and we will be done. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you like it. These do look kind of similar on camera. You can see a subtle difference in person, uh, more blue, more gray. Uh, similarly, uh, these two are really close, more blue, more gray. Um, but I really in love with the terrazzo, ter not terracotta, terrazzo stone look uh, that's very popular right now. And I love these colors. I will always live and die by Madame Glam. They're my favorite gel company. Um, and I do have a code for you all. You get 35% off by using Nails by Sora. If you click on the link in my description, it'll auto populate it into your uh, shopping cart just um, be aware that if you do not select to pay as you go you will automatically be registered for a VIP account which you, it could be worse VIPs get 50% off all products um, it does cost cost uh, $29.99 a month I believe but that amount gets banked into your account so if you forget that you have it and you keep getting charged each month it's basically 30, 30, 30 each month. That money can then be used towards a purchase. It's not just lost. So it's up to you if you want to be a VIP member, but if you don't, select pay as you go and you will just receive 35% off your entire purchase. So that link is in the description box below. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do consider giving me a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. Hope you are well. Bye.